Hi guys, this is Ashley back with another exclusive and this exclusive is going to be on Nicki Minaj and the rumors that she stops people's backs. People have been asking me to talk about this because Chanel West Coles came out a few days ago and said that Nicki stopped her deal with Young Money, okay? So I'm gonna give you what really happened, okay? Because Chanel West Coles, Remy Ba, Tiffany Fox, they all ran with a certain narrative, okay? Before we get into that, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, make sure you check out my girl All Rocks Vision's new single, Sitting Pretty. The link will be in the description box. And also, we're going to discuss what's really going on with the baby and Megan Thee Stallion, okay? So, in regards to Nikki stopping bags. That is a narrative that they use to run Nikki out the game or trying to run her out the game. Um, because Nikki is lighter skin, she has a big fan base, and she's marketable. They had to run with a certain narrative. And the narratives that they were running with is that Nikki only wants to have one female rapper on top. That's one of the narratives that she has an attitude. That's another narrative and that um, she's stopping bags. OK, so that's the narrative they wanted to run because a lot of people weren't going to stop supporting Nikki unless there was a good reason. OK, and if you're, you know, a quote unquote angry black woman or if you always have an attitude like Monique the comedian, people will eventually stop supporting you if you have that narrative around you. So in regards to what happened with Remy Ma, this is what I was told, that Nikki said that she didn't want to be at certain places as Remy, but she never told people to stop doing deals with Remy Ma. See, there's two different things. She never told people Oh, don't do a deal with Nikki. Don't do a deal with Remy Ma or I'm not doing this. She never did that. One, Nikki doesn't have the power to do that. She's not a gatekeeper. Okay, that's one. And when Remy started making a buzz due to Sheether, they already were trying to push Nikki out the game. So she really had no pull. Okay. Also, the industry don't really mess with Remy Ma. So her not being able to get on red carpets and close certain deals, that's Remy Ma's fault. The industry don't know how to market Remy Ma. Okay, they thought she was too tough. Okay, they used her to bring Cardi into the game. Okay, um, they thought she was too tough. You know, she's talking about smacking chicks and popping pistols and doing all that and they didn't know how to market her they didn't think she was sexy that was the industry okay they didn't think she was sexy they didn't know how to market her and then on top of that you know she did go to jail <laughs> so when she came back the industry is not the same she was doing collaborations with fat joe barely put out any solo music like, she didn't really put out any solo music. She had mostly collaborations. The Chris Brown collaboration, the Lil' Kim collaboration, the Fat Joe collaboration. And then she had a collaboration with Camel Face, and he decided not to clear his verse because he already used her. So she was used to get Cardi B into the game and on top. But the industry had, no, they didn't have a plan on really backing Remy. That's what Remy Ma doesn't understand. She was running with this narrative because that's what they told her to run with, that Nicki Minaj was stopping her bags. And that's how everybody else started running with that narrative. Okay? So the reason why Remy Ma is not popping has nothing to do with Nicki. She's not popping because they didn't know how to market her. You know, she doesn't have a big fan base, okay? And then her album got delayed. That's up to Columbia. That's the deal she signed with Columbia, okay? Whatever it was called, 
10 winters and 11 summers, whatever it was called, it's on the shelf, okay? I'm pretty sure Remy Ma is dropped from that label anyway. As for Chanel West Coast, the reason why she's not on Young Money is because they felt like she wasn't talented enough. It had nothing to do with Nicki Minaj. Of course, they probably asked her opinion, but from what I was told, the execs didn't think she was talented enough. You know, she had a good relationship with Wayne. Birdman thought she was okay. But, you know, Young Money Cash Money is under, you know, Universal and Republic or was under them. And they didn't think she was talented enough. That had nothing to do with Nikki. So she's just running with that narrative because it's cool to diss Nikki in the public. As for Megan and the baby, I was told late last night, couldn't make a video because it's too late. I was told late last night that Megan is over the baby. Okay. Now, a lot of people are wondering why Megan is upset because, um, you know, she did the record with Cardi called WAP. Well, I was told that Megan is upset because the baby told her that. You know, he didn't really mess with Tori like that, and he wasn't clearing the record. That's why she tweeted, oh, you know, the record is old and is not cleared. She got that information from the baby. Also, I was told that Megan and the baby have a very close relationship. She never, I was told that she never really was that close to Nicki Minaj, obviously, and that her and the baby talked frequently. Okay, obviously, you know, collaborations and stuff like that. And Megan at one time wanted to go on tour with the baby. Okay, she wanted to go on tour with the baby. Um, she toured with Meek Mill and she wanted to tour with the baby because they got a lot of hits together. And they do have other records in the stash. But Megan is pissed because she feels like the baby lied to her. She's telling people that the baby told her that, you know, he was going to stand behind her and that he didn't really mess with Tori like that. And the record wasn't getting cleared. OK, and that he was going to stand behind her. So that's why she's upset at the baby. Um, you know, if he had been honest, maybe things would have been different. But he wasn't honest. And honestly, I believe that he probably told Megan that because of who she's associated with. He probably didn't want to get on her bad side. So I understand. But the record came out anyway. So you might as well had told the truth. Like, what was the point of lying? Like, now you in this mess. You in between Tori and Megan. But... That's what I have for you guys today. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you turn on post notifications. And I will see you in the next exclusive or video or reading. Have a great day.